for me, it was, uh, it was, it was hard on me. I didn't think my week would go this way. Uh, coming off the pit game, you know, I thought I did a pretty good job, and I had a little one little. Felt real hurt during that game, but I came back, and then throughout the week, it my leg was just painful. Like, and then I just communicated with the doctors and told them how I felt. Got treat, man, and we kept going and going, but it continued to hurt. So, Dr. Radigan, he did a good job of staying with me, and then he just him and Dr. Uh, James Andrews in Florida, we got a second opinion on it, and both of them thought it'd be best I just get the surgery now. You know, despite me and wanting to play still, you know, they think it's best for my health. It's uh, got to be killing you with your dad coming up. And yeah, it, it it was. I mean, my mom, she was. Not as upset because she just, she gets the chance to walk on the field, so she's happy. So, but my dad, you know, it would have been great for him to see me play for the first time in South Bend. So, I mean, it, it's hard for me because me, I love to play, especially for my team. You know, I've played through a lot. And, you know, with my dad going down with you know his heart attack last year, I played through. I tried to battle through the pit game. You know. I battle for my teammates and I play hard for them and you know this hurts me because I can't do anything but at this point I'm just going to try to be the biggest cheerleader on the sideline, support my guys. When when do they tell you that you will be 100% again? Uh, they said it'll be a few weeks, about six to plus and that's just to get back to moving. It'll be another couple of weeks to actually get my quad all the way healthy. So I'll be out for the next two games and the bowl game. And then I'll just be rooting for my guys and being supportive to the team. You know, I can't go out to practices. You know, Doc said it's not good for me to be out there standing around. So, you know, I just go in the lo locker room and just wait around, communicate with my guys, and just, you know, be there for them. Will you be on the sideline for the game, though? Uh, they said it wouldn't be good to be outside. It would be freezing. So I'll probably be inside, but I'll definitely be at the game for sure. So you're going to be up helping us write our stories? I mean, <laughs> if y'all need some help, you know, I think y'all do a great job. You're a good quote. Am I? <laughs> All right. Boo, how tough is that, the fact that you just can't, you won't even be able to be on the field? I mean, that's tough, too, because I love being on the sideline. I love I love the energy at Notre Dame Stadium, you know, it, and a lot of people do. And, like, just being out there is exciting. It won't be the same being in the locker room, but – my guys know and everybody knows the reasons why and like I'm with them in spirit and I'll just try to hopefully have somebody in there with me jumping up and down, try to win the game. What are the emotions going to be like for that senior walking out? I think it'll be great. Uh, my mom is happy about it. She All she does is talk about it. My dad is like happy about it. He's never seen the snow. He's never been here. So just we're just ecstatic. I'm happy for them because they get this opportunity to share something special with me. Been at this great university. You know, because they know it turned my life around. Had a lot growing up, a lot of issues, a lot of things that could have happened to me that, that didn't. And I chose to come here, and it's changed my life for the best. So, you know, that's a special moment just for my whole family. Did you just absolutely close the door on you coming back next year, or was that door realistically already closed? I mean, realistically, it's still a big decision now. I haven't thought about it. It's just, you know, I'm just thinking about getting healthy, get my rehab, finish my season of Breaking Bad, and, uh, <laughs> you know, just cheering on my team. Yeah. <laughs> How far are you uh, I'm on season four now, so I, it's getting real good. That's pretty intense. I was kind of upset I didn't get to meet Hank when he was on the sideline a couple games ago. What will be the key decision, you think? I mean, what, what will be the key factor, or what, 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 what will you be considering when you're deciding? I mean, I don't know what to consider. I, I mean... This is a great place, it's a great university, and it's done a lot for my life. And I feel like if I did come back, it'll still do numerous of things for me and it helped me out. So, you know, there's a lot of choices on both sides, but it's time I'm not even thinking about it. I just want my guys to go out there and play, and I just want to be supportive. Could this injury have an effect one way or another on the decision? Uh, I don't think so. Like I said, I'm not even thinking about NFL or anything like that. I'm just thinking about getting healthy and being BYU. When's the right time to think about it? To think about it do you think? I don't even know. Okay. I mean, I'm, I've never been in this situation where I had to make two big decisions. But, you know, I don't think either decision is wrong. Cause 
who wouldn't want to be at Notre Dame. I feel like you guys wish you guys could like be here right now instead of having a real job. And like, <laughs> you know, and I, it's a great place and you know, Man, I enjoy you think this is a real job. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like this is a great place and I enjoy it every day. I enjoy all my experiences, you know, my highs, my lows here. I sometimes I even enjoy the snow. It's hard to believe, but yeah, like so I think it's two sides to it, but right now I'm just thinking about being here for my teammates my rehab and get back to walking better. You need surgery today? Yeah, this morning. How you feeling? I mean, it, at first I came out, I was like, ah, oh, I don't feel anything. Like, I'm going to be all right. And then start walking on it. Now I'm sore. I need my meds. Are you going to be able to go to Stanford? Uh, I don't think they think it's a yeah, good idea. So I'm just staying with Dr. What Radigan says. He did a good job through the whole process because the knee issue has been bothering me all year, and he's been great on me. And, you know, it got to the point where I couldn't go anymore. So, you know, I want to thank Dr. Radigan so much because he, they, they stay on us about these issues, and he thought about my health more than anything. And, you know, despite me wanting to keep pushing, you know, he, he, he thought it would be a good idea. So we all just – came to the conclusion it would be. What was what was the point where you're just like I mean when was it what what hit you? What was what was really the trigger? I mean, when I got back to the pit game, you know, in my head I wasn't thinking about it. It was just let's just go out there and ball. Don't think about being hurt. And like when people mention like your leg, like I tell them like don't even tell me about it. I don't want to think that I have it cuz that's not how I play ball. But then the week went on, you know, me walking to class, me being in class, teachers noticing I have to get up and just stand up because my leg wasn't comfortable in like a 90 degree angle. You know, I couldn't sleep because of it. And, you know, it's been like that all year, but it worsened. So at, at, at that point, this point of this week, like doing weight training and stuff, I just knew like I had to tell them like it's been bothering me. So we got a second MRI, you know, got a second opinion from James Andrews, and then that's when we all decided it would be a great idea. So, Lewis, I think there was a point where you said you've had pain in that knee since the Alabama game. When do you think you actually tore the meniscus? At this, like, we really don't know. Because okay. uh, me, I thought it was just, you know, I, I hit it, it's hurting, go back in. You know, back in high school, they just say walk it off. So that's basically what I did. I walked it off and, you know, I wasn't even concerned about it. And, you know, that's when I start, you know, Radigan, he noticed and he always told me to communicate. Me being an athlete, I don't want to seem like I'm soft or anything, you know. So until I started communicating, that's when they started taking the problem seriously. And that's why I'm so happy they did. And we learned that it was torn or whatever. So we got right on it and now it's what it is now. So this fixes the meniscus, right? But is, what, what does it I think I, I think well that issue's been covered and I've got my MRI that that looks way better like it, it's done wonders now that doesn't hurt at all it's just the meniscus issue now uh, we got it taken care of it's just all about rehabbing now.